restoration, like we already uh, uh, read from the bulletin, it is to bring back to its former position, to its former state, something to its former position, something to its original position, the way, supposed to, uh, the way it was, or the original state that uh, it is supposed to, to be, or that it was, to bring back to what it used to be. Praise the Lord. God will restore you back to what he, he created you to be in Jesus' name. Amen. God will restore your business to what it was before. Amen. Before uh, the enemy came. Before things uh, 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 went awire. To bring back to his former original good position or state. Praise the Lord. Amen. So we have already seen that it is possible. In 22 verse 25 to 26, it says, and I read, See, and I will restore to you the years the, that the good locusts had eaten the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army, which I sent among you. And you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God that had dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. Put it on the screen. Joel 2, 25 to 26. Praise the Lord. Amen. Once again, I will congratulate you for making it into 2017. It's not by your power. It's not by my power. It's just by His grace. And I want to assure you, like uh, uh, the General Vassar has said, that the one God has told him is that this year is going to be a year of complete restoration. In this month and in, uh, throughout this year, that will be your portion. That will be your lot in Jesus' name. Amen. In every rest of your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Some of you are not even, you don't believe it. Amen. Praise the Lord. If God says you will see your portion this year is complete restoration, that is it. You don't need to trouble yourself. Is it possible? Can this be? Praise the Lord. Amen. That is what God has said. And we believe it. As you run with it, as you hold on to it, it will be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. So God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. See, as he said, and shall he not do, as he spoke, shall he not bring it to pass. He has spoken, he will bring it to pass in Jesus' name. Amen. I congratulate you, uh, 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 Kenneth, for this wonderful Thanksgiving day. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's, a, it's, a, it's a good thing to thank God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So we rejoice with you and, your, and the family. Praise the Lord. You know, some people, when God has done so much, they, they hide it. Praise the Lord. He said, <laughs> he said make known his uh, deeds so that we do more for you. You hide it. And God is looking at you. Tell people that I did it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So God's word for Israel in this year of uh, 2017 uh, is complete restoration. His word adjusts us of uh, 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 termination of losses. Termination of disappointment, termination of failures, delays, deniers, misfortune of the past years in a man's life. That is what God is saying when He says this is going to be complete restoration. Your portion will not be partial restoration in Jesus' name. It will be complete restoration in Jesus' name. God's word has guaranteed it and assurance of restoration is possible. Restoration of loss of whatever kind. Is going to take place in Jesus' name. Amen. In Agai chapter 2, verse 6 to 8, says, The glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former. The glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former. You will not only really be restored, God will move to a, 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 a higher level in Jesus' name, Amen. a better level in Jesus. He's not going to leave you in that level. When He restores all things, we Promote you in Jesus' name. Amen. In John chapter 10, verse 10, the Bible says, I said, The thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. He said, I am come that they might have life and have it more abundantly. When restoration takes place, complete restoration takes place, what well, it will make you have life and have it in abundance in your business, in your career, in your profession, in whatever you are doing. Praise the Lord. It's not to take away anything from you that is good. It's to make sure all that is good that is yours, you have them back and to move you to, to even a better level. 
Praise the Lord. He said, I am come that they might have life and have it more abundantly. All the losses, all the pains, restoration, all that, that has happened is a result of the activity of the thief, which is that of the devil. The Bible says, he called it, he not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Jesus said, but, for, but I am come that, they might, that you might have life and have it more abundantly. You have abundant life this year in Jesus' name. Amen. In every area of your life. No matter how strong the, the no matter how strong uh, the powers that are holding you captive, complete restoration is possible. No matter how strong that enemy is. See, is it possible? You don't know how this, this matter is, how long it has been. He said, no matter how long, no matter how strong, no matter how difficult, complete restoration is yours. Praise the Lord. The Bible makes us to understand that in uh, uh, Mark chapter 10, verse 27, he said, and Jesus looking upon them said, uh, uh, said, with men it is impossible, but not with God. For with God all things are possible, which is our memory pass. Say with men, if you are depending on man, or you are depending on yourself to bring the complete restoration, it's impossible. Praise the Lord. Say, but with God, all things are possible. So the restoration is not the work of man. It's not your own arrangement. It's not maybe your own effort that oh, you're able to do it, and, and you're able to restore yourself, you're able to carry it out. No, you don't have the ability. Praise the Lord. So don't begin to wonder, how is it going to come to pass? You don't know how long this the situation has been like this. You don't know how it's like this. I like, no, don't bother about that. Just say, oh, if the Lord said it, that settles it. Praise the Lord. In Isaiah 49, 24 to, to 25, what does the scripture say there? It says, shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captive deliver? It's a question, shall the prey be taken from the mighty? Or the lawful captive, those that willingly gave themselves to the enemy, maybe through covenant, don't want to know that. Is it possible for them to be free? They surrender themselves. I want the verse 25 it says, But thus said the Lord, even the captive of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contended with it, and I will save thy children. Even the, even the captive of the mighty shall be taken away. Even the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. Hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord will take somebody out of where you are not supposed to be in Jesus' name. Amen. The, 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 the mighty say you cannot get out of the Lord. He say, he say, he say, he say, he will deliver the colorful captive. The prayer will say they will take away the lady, they, 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 they will deliver the, 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 you from the hands of the terrible. Praise the Lord. Amen. We restore to where you are supposed to be. See, when the captive, whether you are a captive of the mighty, he will take you out of the hand of, of whoever is, is that mighty man, that strong man. Praise the Lord. Amen. God is able to do it. And we do it in Jesus' name. Amen. We are we read. You, you see, say, say we contend. We are contending. You are not just, you are not discussing. And see, we fight, we wrestle with them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's God that is saying it. That's the word of God. Just because you need to be restored completely. Praise the Lord. It's not saying I will negotiate with them, I will talk to them. You see, I will just say we will fight with them, we wrestle with them just to rescue you. Just to make sure you are restored. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you receive deliverance, you will be delivered. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's what he's saying. Eh? Let's look at Acts chapter 12, verse 1 to 11. Where uh, our mama read. Talked about Peter. Praise the Lord. What makes us to understand that Herod, King Herod, took hold of Peter. Throw him in prison. And what we also understand from where we, uh, uh, we read for the text that he wanted to bring him out after Easter so that he would behead him, so that the people would be pleased. And if you read the beginning from that uh, uh, Acts chapter 12, from verse 1, 
The scripture makes us to understand that uh, he had already beheaded James, the brother of uh, John. Praise the Lord. Amen. See, and the people were happy, they rejoice. Oh, great king. Oh, great, that is what we want. Great king. And see, and he, see they were happy. He took hold of uh, 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 Peter. And Peter, like you know, is the head of the uh, uh, apostles. Praise the Lord. When Jesus took them, he took him. So I will deliver him after Easter to them. He will love me the more. Herod is that strong man that wants to please the people, that wants to take you out of your destiny. Herod is that strong man, that power that kills good things. Remember, he killed the children, uh, many children, because he was looking for baby Jesus to kill Jesus, uh, baby Jesus. Do you remember? He said that you search, search the, the, the children that were born between the time the wise men told him that he was going to look for uh, 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 the king of the Jews. He died that was born king of the Jews. That children that were born in that period, they should kill them because he couldn't identify who he was, knowing that God has already moved. Praise the Lord. Herod is that part that kills good things. Herod is that part that destroys destinies. Praise the Lord. He took, he took Peter. And what did God tell Peter? Jesus told Peter that he will make him fishers of men. Not uh, for him to be in the prison, not for his life to be cautioned. The word of God, I will never return void without accomplished purpose for which was spoken. Praise the Lord. So Peter was supposed to be a, 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 a fisher of a fishers of men, not to be in prison. But Aaron took him out. Every part that has taken you out, you will be restored in Jesus' name. You will be taken out of your house in Jesus' name. Yeah. Those that have taken out your business and are in trouble in Jesus' name. Because they will contend with them that contend against you. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. That was what happened. He, God told Peter, he says, Jesus told Peter, he said, you, you, you will be fishers of men. So don't be afraid for a man's what you call you, 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 you will catch men. That's what the, Jesus told him. And the, Jesus meant it. Jesus is the word of God made flesh. Praise the Lord. But the power, the power of Herod wants to stand to make sure the word of God concerning your life does not come to pass. And God saw it from heaven. And the church saw it and they started praying. Praise the Lord. Amen. If you read the book of, you read, uh, uh, if you read, uh, um, Psalm 84, verse 34 to 45. I say, My covenant will I not break, nor utter the thing that is gone out of my lips. What God has uttered concerning you and your family is going to come to pass in Jesus' name. Those good things, God, those promises, even though the errors of this war, they want to do whatever they can to stop you, to hinder you, to take you out of there, to put you in prison, God's word must surely come to pass in Jesus' name. He say, We know utter the word that has gone out of his lips. Praise the Lord. Amen. Say, I will say, 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 once have I sworn by my holiness that I will not lie unto David. You are David of today. He says it's impossible for God to lie. But then you want to make it to look as if the word of God is a lie, as if God is a frost, froster. Say, where is it coming to pass? And we have been looking, it's not because it's God said, God said, God said. Praise the Lord. The Bible says the church, they began to pray. See, this is how they, they took uh, the life of uh, uh, James. And they were praying, calling on God, saying, Lord, show up. Show up. Your word, your word. How can they uh, say uh, Peter, uh, Peter is, in, is, in, is in prison? They want to kill him. Herod wants to please the people. Every part that wants to please the people at the expense of your business, of your life, of your family. That God will reverse it in Jesus' name. Amen. He wants to place the world at the expense of the destiny of Peter. That is, that is, that is what the strong man wants. He wants to place the people. Praise the Lord. Amen. And for read your account, he said that Peter was, was heavily guided. For uh, is it called uh, quaternary of a soldier? That is 16 guards. We are signed. To make sure he doesn't escape. It's not, I mean, it's not easy. It's not easy. It's not a trained soldier. It's not, I mean, it's, a, it's impossible for him to escape. Praise the Lord. Amen. Remember, I say for God, all things are 
possible. We ready, we read it already. And what happened? Now we saw the side a day before it was supposed to be brought out by this strong man, Herod. The part that destroys destiny. The part that kills good things. The part that don't want to walk in your destiny. The part that wants to please the world. What happened? The Bible us to understand that, that the angel of the Lord appeared in prison. In prison. God will send a messenger of heaven uh, for, your, for your favor in Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible says that a light shone in the prison. Now Peter was shown between two uh, uh, soldiers. Uh, and the others were at the gate. Uh, the, 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 the place where he was kept, you have, you have to pass three gates before you will enter, get, get in. And we just understand the, 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 the angel tapped him and he said, see, uh, see, rise up. So as he rose up, the chains fell off. Every chain that is holding you spiritually, I command them to be broken in Jesus' name. Amen. You may say, I'm, I'm going up and down. Why should you be taking the chains? You know, that I can see there is no chain. I say, it may be possible that you know some things that happen is a lot of shit. It has happened in my life. There was, uh, I was uh, uh, back in Africa. There was a time they said, okay, come, let's pray for you. These things that you are complaining of, let's know what's the problem. Pray this prayer point and say, Lord, show me what is behind this problem. When you want to sleep at midnight, then the next day is going to be the, the day of the deliverance. We, 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 we conduct deliverance uh, prayers for you. And I prayed that prayer, and the Lord, I, I saw myself, I saw myself in the, ch in the church, and I saw the man of God coming out. I saw myself in all these big chains, big chains that we normally see in, in films. One year, one year, one year. And they said, step out for deliverance, you have been chained. I was walking all over the place. I was, I didn't see any chain on my hands. Of faith, praise the Lord. Amen. This is true. Things were slow, things were not moving as they're supposed to be. And I, I woke up, I just said, what? Praise the Lord. Amen. This is true. Not that somebody, I saw it, and I'm telling you the truth. And we pray. After that, prayer, many things begin to happen. If I, know I was in America. Praise the Lord. Amen. So this thing, they slow you down. You are moving, but there is something is wrong in the realm of the spirit. Praise the Lord. Amen. If there's any shame, I command them to be broken in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. That's the part that did it for me. Let it do it for you in Jesus' name. Amen. That is deliverance. So it happened. Praise the Lord. Amen. Like I also said, they gave me another prayer point. Say, okay, I pray this prayer point. Uh, every every covering cast be destroyed. And as I prayed it in the midnight, I I, I, I I saw myself like there was a mask, and I saw the, the, the power go tall in like, and I saw myself in the sleep, waking up to say, ah. So I'm walking around the Lagos and I'm covered. Every covering cast I command it to be destroyed in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray this prayer. That's why I give a lot of prayer points so people don't understand. Because they help me and it's most of them are practical. Say, ah, I'm praying about, I'm not blind, but it's a special covering. Praise the Lord. That is how good our uh, God is. So when some people you, you, just, you don't know the prayer point that you will be a blessing to you. You give prayer point. Pray with all your heart. I don't think this is me. Yeah, I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray. Amen. Give me what is it? Oh, he says, he says, it works. I pray, I pray, I pray. Say, Lord, if it applies to me, let it work and I move on. Praise the Lord. <laughs> so don't say, I hide me. I hide my you Okay. Praise the Lord. Because of ignorance, that's why a lot of people think that God has sent our way. We ignore them. Praise the Lord. Uh, that's why those I uh, what is it? I, I God has used that to, to really help me. I uh, don't hesitate when I, I, I see any I say, pray this one, maybe it may work, but pray it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So what we are saying is that no matter how bad the situation is, God has an answer for everything. Restoration will take place in Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible is us to understand that the, the angel told Peter, I say. Put your uh, put on your belt, put on your sandal, put on your coat. You won't leave anything for the enemy in Jesus' name. Yeah. You want to take everything that belongs to you because restoration has taken place. You are living here. Those guys were still sleeping. Praise the Lord. Amen. And my wish was to understand as he was the, the angel was going, leading me, leading him out, leading him out, and the case were opening of their own accord. That was God. 
Praise the Lord. And before you know, you saw him, he passed one street and the angel disappeared. Praise the Lord. That is the angel of deliverance. Sir. You say, oh, well, that's, uh, that's the time of Peter. Right now, I don't know. Uh, so, uh, so, okay, let me tell you this. When I was in Milwaukee, I was going through so many attacks. Uh, the enemy, I wanted to run back to, to Africa because of the attack of the enemy. I wanted to go back. So many things were happening. I said, oh, Lord, you asked me to come here. What is happening? Prayed, I prayed. I wasn't a pastor in Nigeria. I wasn't a pastor in, in Milwaukee. Uh, you know me then, right, sir? Yes. Ah, we know right from Milwaukee. Was, was I a pastor? I was. He knows me. You know where I'm coming from. Praise the Lord. Amen. So I was, I, I was having problems. As I want to run away, God, I said, well, I know you asked me to come to, to America. And I, well, I prayed, I cried, I prayed, I prayed, I prayed, I prayed, I prayed, I prayed. What oh, is all this problem? And as I prayed in the little studio I was occupying, then something happened. I prayed, I prayed, and as I slept, it was late in the next day, boom. See, light showed me, uh, there was light in, the, in that uh, little studio, boom, and a ninja just appeared. I was putting on a round cap. Was looking like my wife. It, it was, was uh, white, but was, the cap was the cap I bought. I gave it to. That was the only the only thing I'd sent to her in terms of things that I bought from America. That cap I sent it to her through one of the brothers that traveled to Nigeria. The angel was wearing the cap. You have seen an angel. They walk like a robot. They walk, just walking, walk to. I just I know it was. It was. The angel was right where I am, and I, with that, with that cap in my head, bam, 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 going back to heaven. And I was like sweating. Wow. Wow. That was deliverance. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That was how God delivered me. When I woke up, I was feeling good. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I thank God. God made sure I saw it just a bam. Two, three. God, Father, God, His Son, send me. That's what see. Deliverance took place. God, we hear your prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. And we send you, send this in, uh, to you in Jesus' name. Amen. That is why all things started changing my life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God did it. So we are saying now, oh, it is Peter's time. It ain't possible now. Apart from that, I've seen them a couple of times apart from that one. So maybe it's because you're a pastor. I wasn't a pastor. Then praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Or maybe because somebody prayed for you. I cried. I prayed because I didn't know what to I try. I prayed, 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 prayed. He said, oh, maybe because somebody came to the house and no. Prayed and prayed and prayed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So if you're not buying gifts for your wife, you better buy for them all because you don't know which of the one the angels will use. Peter. I see the cup that I was I gave to her. That's the only few things I sent. Praise the Lord. So everyone recognizes your wife. Praise the Lord. And you don't understand me. Eh? I see your wife. Everyone recognizes that is your wife. Amen. Hey, hey, so, so a ministry spirit can come and say, yeah, what, is the, what is going on? I praise the Lord. So when I saw that cup, I send it to her. Praise the Lord. So everyone, 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 everyone recognize that this is your husband and this is your wife. So whatever is happening, everyone is taking a note. So praise the Lord. The Bible wants us to understand that Peter, the angel uh, rescued uh, Peter, and Peter said, I, now I know that the Lord has sent his angel to save me from the hand of Herod and the expectation of the people. Praise the Lord. You will not be ashamed in Jesus' name. Yeah. What the enemy is expecting, God will disappoint them in Jesus' name. Yeah. Complete restoration is yours in Jesus' name. Yeah. You can see it was not a, a situation that Peter could have manipulated. There's no way assisting God. You don't have any, 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 I mean, how can you escape? Praise the Lord. Because Herod did not want them to escape. Herod is that part that doesn't want to let you go. No way. The people will, the people will clap for, for him. This is what they love. This is their leader. 
This is the end of this family. I'm going to make sure I keep him in spiritual prison. That will not be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord who did it for Peter, who did it for me, who did it for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Complete restoration took place in the time of Peter. God brought him out. Became free. And we never had that. He was in prison again. Praise the Lord. Because God delivered him. See, can the lawful captain be delivered? God proved it in the time of, in the time of uh, uh, Peter. They were washing him. They were sleeping with him. God made them to be sleeping. The chains they fell off. And they, 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 they. Praise the Lord. That's what God can do. I want to run off with Nebuchadnezzar. Daniel 4, verse 28 to 36. You can read it. Daniel chapter 4, verse 28 to 36. I made mention of this uh, during the uh, crossover service. Nebuchadnezzar, because of pride and ignorance, he made a mistake. Praise the Lord. And the mistake he made was, he was thinking that all that he had achieved was as a result of his own uh, power, his own might, that he built Babylon. He did everything. And God said, I did it. And God was angry with him. For seven years, he became an animal, like an horse. He became an animal. He, he lost his senses. He grew his fingers, grew out. He grew uh, all over his body. He was in the, in the, in the bush for seven years. Eating, eating uh, uh, grasses and uh, eating uh, uh, um, uh, herbs and those, no, uh, it was just living the life of an animal, a king, one of the most powerful king all over the world. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. For seven years, if you read it, you you see. But who makes us understand? It. He lost his honor, he lost his glory, he lost his throne, which he lost his wife, he lost his three children, everything. Was with the poor animals in the pool, but God protected him. The, the lions did not kill him. Praise the Lord. The wild animals did not kill him. For seven years, after it was seven years, his senses came back. His ability to reason came back. And he, he, he became a human being. He started walking on his legs, not on uh, hands and legs. But makes us to understand this honor. Everything was restored and his throne was restored back to him. So his counselors started coming back to ask him for, for advice. To, 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 to. I mean, for seven years, how can you get back the throne? How can they come to you? I mean, it can only be God. Praise the Lord. So it was completely restored. His senses restored. His reasoning restored. His honor restored. His glory restored. What is it that he, your case is not as bad as that of uh, Nebuchadnezzar? Praise the Lord. Amen. So complete restoration is yours in Jesus' name. Amen. It's for your family, for your loved ones, in your business, in your... Uh, so we don't have, we can't compare the situation that we are going through like that of Nebuchadnezzar. God protected him just to teach him that he can, he can do and undo. Praise the Lord. So your, so your case is lazy. It's, it's very simple. Very, very simple. Completely restored. Everything. I would say for dying is the glory and the power and the honor. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So everything, he got everything back and God, you see, God added more power to him. And he started praising God that God is the one that is in charge of everything. He started honoring God because he saw the hand of God. Somebody will see the, the, the mercy of God in Jesus' name. Amen. The mercy of God was what caused him to be restored back. Not because of anything, just God's mercy. Seven years. Seven is the number of perfection. So God taught him a lesson and restored him back. He took everything. He now knew that this is God. People did never remember what happened. He would just say, Come and help us do this and this and that. And he was giving him counsel and everything was moving. Everything will move again in Jesus' name. Yeah. Whatever has been stuck now will move again in Jesus' name. Yeah. That honor, that glory. When they see you now, when they, you used to be, be somebody respect maybe your family. Now they, they say, no, 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 they let this brother talk. Hey, well, cool, what are you say whatever you say, that is what we will do. Because they say you don't have money. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That glory will be restored again in Jesus' name. Yeah. 
They will say, I catch you, it's whatever you say we do now. Well, uh, you are upset. Let's uh, what are you telling us? What do you want us to do? <laughs> yes, he has spoken. That is it. Praise the Lord. That is that, that, that honor. Praise the Lord. That honor. God is able to restore it. God restore it back to him. Not that he did anything special. God restore it back to him. Praise the Lord. Amen. God will give it to you in Jesus' name. Amen. In the business community, have you lost anything? Has somebody stolen for you and is worrying about thinking that he has uh, God restore everything back to you in Jesus' name? Amen. It's possible. God is able to do it. Let's stand up. Let's stand up. Let's stand up. Lord, your God, that He let thee. Thank you because you said, Oh God, there is nothing that is too hard for you to do. Thank you for that because you say, With men, this is impossible. With you, all things are possible. We thank you, Lord, Father, for spiritual restoration, Father, for physical restoration, for material restoration. We thank you, Lord, oh God. Father, move, oh God, Father, in their lives, in their business, in their career, in their jobs, in their profession. Move mightily in Jesus' name. God's restoration to take place in Jesus' name. Cause it to be complete and total restoration in Jesus' name. Disgrace every error. Disgrace every strong man that is standing, no God, to hinder, to resist to God for their complete restoration in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you, Lord, O God. Let the testimony come to the glory of your name, O God. Let the blessing remain as O God. Thank you because you know you have answered. Blessed be your holy name, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's put hands together for the Lord. Praise the Lord. So complete restoration is yours in Jesus' name. Amen. It's for your family, for your loved ones, in your business, in your own. So we don't have, we can't compare the situation that we are going through like that of Nebuchadnezzar. God protected him just to teach him that he can, he can do and undo. Praise the Lord. So your, so your case is lazy. It's, it's very simple. Very, very simple. Completely restored. Everything. I will say for thine is the glory and the power and the honor. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So everything, he got everything back and God, you see, he got added more power to him. And he started praising God that God is the one that is in charge of everything. He started honoring God because he saw the hand of God. Somebody will see the, the, the mercy of God in Jesus' name. Amen. The mercy of God was what caused him to be restored back. Not because of it, it just God's mercy. Seven years. Seven is the number of perfection. So God taught him a lesson and restored him back. He took everything and he now knew that this is God. People did never remember what happened. They would just say, come and help us do this and this and that. And he was giving him counsel and everything was moving. Everything will move again in Jesus' name. Whatever has been started now will move again in Jesus' name. That honor, that glory. When they see you now, when they, you used to be, be did somebody respect me in your family? Now they say, no, 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 they let this brother talk. Hey, well, uncle, what are you saying? Whatever you say, that is what we will do. Because they say you don't have money. Praise the Lord. That glory will be restored again in Jesus' name. Amen. They will say, I catch you, it's whatever you say we do now. Well, hey, you are upset. Let's, uh, uncle, what are you telling us? What do you want us to do? <laughs> yes, he has spoken, that is it. Praise the Lord. That is that, that, that honor. Praise the Lord. That honor, oh God is able to restore it. God restored it back to him. Not that he did anything special. God restored it back to him. Praise the Lord. Amen. God will give it to you in Jesus' name. Amen. In the business community, have you lost anything? Has somebody stolen for you? And is worrying about thinking that he has uh, God restored everything back to you in Jesus' name. Amen. It's possible. God is able to do it. Let's stand up. Let's stand up, let's stand up. The Lord, your God, that he let thee. Thank you because you said, oh God, there is nothing that is too hard for you to do. Thank you for that because you say, with men, this is impossible. With you, all things are possible. We thank you, Lord, Father, for spiritual restoration. Father, for physical restoration, for material restoration. We thank you, Lord, oh God. Father, move, oh God. Father, in their lives, in their business, in their career, in their jobs, in their profession, move mightily in Jesus' name. God's restoration to take place in Jesus' name. Cause it to be complete and total restoration in Jesus' name. Disgrace every error. Disgrace every strong man that is standing, no God, to hinder, to resist to God for their complete restoration in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you, Lord, O God. Let the testimony come to the glory of your name, O God. Let the blessing remain as O God. Thank you because you know you have answered. Blessed be your holy name, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's put hands together for the Lord.